Hello people, hey, it's Betty, I'm back again. Right, so today um, I'm going to be doing twice baked potatoes or um, loaded, um, loaded, loaded potato skins. This was um, a real big favourite with my kids when they were little, I mean the 38 plus now. Um, this was a real favourite and to the point where they used to nag me to death to do it and I got fed up of doing it but I haven't made them for a long long while so I'm just going to show you me now prepping up the uh, the potatoes right so I'm just going to prepare my uh, potatoes give them a little a little rub with olive oil before they go in the oven give them a good muscle I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt, pink Himalayan salt, get that rubbed in as well, get nice and crispy. That will help. I'm just going to wash my hands one second. Right, so I'm just going to put these in the oven, um, one about 180, 190 for a, for an hour, and you can check on them, turn them over if you want. That should uh, we'll get them going. Let me set the alarm for one hour's time. Oop. There we go. So today. There's so many variations on this that you can have. Um, so today it's just grated cheddar, any amount you want, what you prefer. I'm putting, I'm going to fry some bacon lardons, which I'll just show you now. I've had it, and, and some salt and pepper, and some butter, of course, which will go in the in the uh, scooped out mash once I've got it going. But you can have anything you want. I've had it with caramelized onions before, with different meats. You can leave meat out, put beans in, whatever you like. All I know, my kids used to love it, so this is a good one for the kids. And you can hide your veggies in there and they'll probably eat it. So right, so guys, I'm just going to get the uh, frying pan out and we'll start frying this up. The uh, lard ones. Right, so I've preheated this uh, pan up, get it nice and warm. In goes the bacon lard ones. Already starting to sizzle, as you can see. Let's get here for a minute. Right, so. No need to add anything, there's no oil needed. So once the bacon starts to cook, it releases its own fat anyway. So I'm going to continue cooking this for maybe four, four minutes, five minutes uh, until they're uh, nicely crisp up. I'll come back to you and show you when they're done. Right, as you can see, they're starting to crisp up nicely. I've had about five minutes. Lovely golden brown. You cook them to your liking. If you, I forgot to say, if you haven't got, if you haven't got lard on, just if you've got bacon, just chop some bacon up and do the same thing. And uh, right, I'm going to turn this off now. I will drain them on some kitchen paper, ready for later on. Right, they've had their hour. Now I've kept the oven on because of the. The skins are going to go back in in a second and um, so now comes the fun part which is actually getting the flesh out of these potatoes while they are still hot so obviously <coughs> use a tea towel Ooh, hi, 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 hi. To the tricky bit and cut it in half basically so there's that one yeah not quite cut through there you've got to be a bit more precise than that again come on right and again as near down the middle as you can get make sure it's cut all the way through 
and there we go right so now while they're hot I'm going to scoop the flesh out put them in a bowl all right so this is the tricky bit so what I do is basically I scoop the potato flesh out ha 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 out of here into this bowl try not to break the skin if you can help it because these are going to go back in the oven to crisp up while that oven is still nice and hot so there you go what I do is well then I'll show you anyway I'm going to repeat the process until they're all scooped out right so you want something looking something like this quick spray either fry light or olive oil okay and back into the oven those go and just keep your eye on them five minutes and just keep checking on them and see how they go right so in we go with some butter a big piece of butter into there there's the cheddar cheese that I grated up earlier on that goes in and you just basically give this a good mash up until it's to the consistency that you like just keep going Good to me. Good amount of cheese in there, so it's yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Just knock the camera. Dafty. Make sure you get all the goodness off. Don't want to waste any of that cheesy mash. You can't waste that like. Right. A little bit of pepper. And a little sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle of salt. Not much. That's all down to preference and for your health or whatever you put. Not something that much difference with having cheese. This beauty. So again. Look at that. Lovely cheesy mash. Soft, smooth, buttery. You can add anything you wanted into this. I'm adding my bacon laddons into there. So now give that a good mix so it's all worked in throughout the cheesy mash. And all what in between while I'm doing this, the potato skins are in the oven, hopefully crisping up a little bit. So I'll come back to you and check out on it and show you when the results. Right, they're out the oven. They've crisped and firmed up a little bit. That one needs reshaping. Well, that's nothing I can't sort out. So now you just go in with your filling into each one. Just press it into there. There we go. Press it 
press it down, which is where you can reshape them. Press it down. Lovely. Nice big bit of into there. Make sure you work it into the corners. That's gonna take a bit more that one like. Call that beauty. Work them in. That's what you want. Plenty of potato. Right, so I'll come back in a second when I've done them all. Right, that's them all filled up. Sometimes I put um, some more cheese on the top, or, or parmesan, or whatever you want. But I think there's quite enough cheese in there, and it should go, should go nice and golden. So it will be. Let's have a look. Back into the oven, and just keep your eye on them. Ten minutes maybe 15 come back to you when they're done right they've had another 10 minutes in the oven so that's on top of the hour bake and look at those viewers so I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit because they'll be hotter than the Sun and then I will do the old taste test for you there we go just about ready to go so I'm going to take a scoop of the flesh, look at that, you can see how hot that is, the steam still coming off it. So I'm going to give it a test. Whoa! Oh yeah! Mm. That was very very hot, I maybe should have waited another couple of minutes. Ooh, cheesy, buttery mash with the nice added um, bacon lardons in there. Skin's lovely and crispy and my kids and the grandkids used to love it. So give it a go. You can pimp it up, put whatever you want in there, do it your way. That's just a basic recipe for me. So I hope you enjoy guys. Um, give it a go. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, if you'd like to. It doesn't cost anything, so, and I can come back with more stuff like this. So, see you soon guys, thanks for watching.